are going to discuss about the data communication of the networking. Before start to dissuasion about the data communication first we discuss why it is required and what is benefit. Data communications and networking are changing the way we do business and the way we live. Business decisions have to be made ever more quickly, and the decision makers require immediate access to accurate information. Second what is data communication? When we communicate, we are sharing information. This sharing can be local or remote. Between individuals, local communication usually occurs face to face, while remote communication takes place over distance. The term telecommunication means communication at a distance. The word data refers to information presented in whatever form is agreed upon by the parties creating and using the data. Data communications are the exchange of data between two devices via some form of transmission medium such as a wire cable. Third How the data communication possible? For data communications to occur. The communicating devices must be part of a communication system made up of a combination of hardware, physical equipment, and software, programs. Now, the effectiveness of a data communications system depends on four fundamental characteristics, delivery, accuracy, timeliness, and jitter. Now. We discussed four fundamental characteristics in one by one. First characteristics is delivery. The system must deliver data to the correct destination. Data must be received by the intended device or user and only by that device or user. Accuracy. The system must deliver the data accurately. Data that have been altered in transmission and left uncorrected are unusable. Timeliness. The system must deliver data in a timely manner. Data delivered late are useless. In the case of video and audio, timely delivery means delivering data as they are produced, in the same order that they are produced, and without significant delay. This kind of delivery is called real-time transmission. Jitter. Jitter refers to the variation in the packet arrival time. It is the uneven delay in the delivery of audio or video packets. For example, let us assume that video packets are sent every 30 ms if some of the packets arrive with 30 ms delay and others with 40 ms delay. An uneven quality in the video is the result. Component of the data communication first message. The message is the information, data, to be communicated. Popular forms of information include text, numbers, pictures, audio, and video. Second sender. The sender is the device that sends the data message. It can be a computer workstation, telephone handset, video camera, and so on. Third receiver. The receiver is the device that receives the message. It can be a computer, workstation, telephone handset, television, and so on. Fourth transmission medium. The transmission medium is the physical path by which a message travels from sender to receiver. Some examples of transmission media include twisted pair wire, coaxial cable, fiber optic cable, and radio waves. Fifth Protocol A protocol is a set of rules that govern data communications. It represents an agreement between the communicating devices. Without a protocol, two devices may be connected but not communicating. Just as a person speaking French cannot be understood by a person who speaks only Japanese. Subscribe our channel for more updates. Thank you for watching this video.